All right, welcome to your cyclone. Coming around to the front here, we have our battery storage, which is right in there, along with our hydraulic pump. Up top here, we have some storage that connects into the side pass-through. Then right here, we have our auto leveling system. This button here works up front. You hold these two down for about 10 to 15 seconds. You let go, the green button comes on. From here, you can press auto level and hitch height. Hitch height is from when you get your truck off the camper and you hit auto level, it will return to where you first hit auto level. Then of course, retract all will retract all. And down here we find our Onan 5500 generator. We're gonna pull the front case off. Right here is the start stop button. And these are our breakers. So if you're ever not getting power from the generator, it's more than likely that the breakers are off. Coming around up front here, we have the propane. And up here is the pass through and our water closet. Our water closet goes as follows here. We have winterize, which it's set up for now. Tank fill, which you'd hook your hose in there, put it on tank fill, it would fill your tank. Dry camping is where you put it to draw from the tank after you've filled it. And city fixtures is where you put a hose into there and that would be your water. There's the gray paint holes and little point valves underneath. Outside of the water heater and the furnace. Here we have our back gray tank valve. We have a black tank flush there. It's our on and off for our pump and our fill for our generator and our fill for our pump back here to fill any recreational vehicles. Back here we have the back gate. Coming along to the inside there. This is where we have the outdoor kitchen area with the griddle and the refrigerator. Along over to this side, we have our two speakers. Here we have our starter kit. This is our bypass valve for the water heater. And here we have the switch for the propane regulator. It'll switch from one tank to the other. Coming along back into this side, we come inside. Light switch over here, our front living. Their fireplace. And here we have our ins and outs for our slide outs. On and off for our light switches. Up here you have the LCI in command system. This will turn the fuel pump on. This will turn your different lights on. This will set your awnings in and out. It also gives you your gauges for how full your gray, black, stuff like that is. This is for our heat and AC. Uh, let's start over. First button here is for high, low, auto. Second button here is for AC and then for your heat. Which in this unit, I do believe the heat is only controlled from in here in the bedroom. This will control this AC. This will control the AC in here. Number one, we have our refrigerator. Our refrigerator comes on which is already on. So then you can switch it from the electrical outlet with just electric, just gas or auto, which will switch back and forth from electric and gas, depending on what you have. More light switches here and fan control. One thing to note on the stove is you have to turn it to here and hold the button down to light it at the same time. Our back four seasons, we got our rear switches here which is our awnings up down for the bed and this is our slide room in and out half bath up top bedroom and or storage and another ac which will be controlled by this here they'll all say furnace but the only one that will control the furnace is the one in the bedroom back hook up for a washer and dryer and that concludes your tour if you have any questions feel free to call us here at the store